This is energizing stretch four. And we're gonna start by bringing our hands up above our head and just doing some free flowing um, dance movement. And I'm just gonna have my hands together, moving back and forth as I move my feet, just getting my our core all warmed up to get ready and to doing some stretches and some just fun little moves. Okay, feet far apart and we're just going side to side keep your core really engaged and go down as far as you can and just really keep your feet planted into the mat of the rebounder when you do this to get the full effect of these type of stretches do some lunging and we're just gonna go part way down like towards your knee and shin area and then bring the other arm back behind you and it's still kind of a free flowing back and forth but you're starting to stretch out your legs your arms your core area and you're really going to be feeling all these stretches in your core area this is really going to strengthen your core all of these um, energizing stretches will really strengthen your core area semi-lunging going back and forth just moving not so much lunging but moving back and forth and bringing your arms behind you up and down it just feels good I like moving back and forth like this one arm behind I just I don't know there's something about these moves that make me feel carefree kind of like a kid just having a fun time and moving around and enjoying all the movement that we can <laughs> 
Now we're going to take our hand as close to arm as close to the wall, and we're coming down into a lunge, tapping down, and then we're going to twist the opposite direction when we come up. This is really gonna um, stretch out um, your hamstrings and your glutes and your inner thigh on the leg that's closest to the wall. So that leg stays pretty much straight. You're still gonna have some give in your knee, but you're gonna lunge toward that and then come up and then twist. side and then we're going to bring our elbows up forward and then back. A lot of times I'm not bringing them back. A lot of times I do go the opposite direction. Each time you go in a different direction it just works your muscles in a different way. So you just bring your arm up and then towards the back. opposite direction of a semi lunge. Come down, touch your foot, come up and then do a twist in the opposite direction. Touch, come up and then twist. that kind of comes from my pelvic floor so we're good but I'm gonna have my feet as far apart as I can the farther apart the easier it will be to do and we're pushing forward and then holding our arms back and we're just holding that position and we and for about a count of ten and then I'm just gonna bounce a little bit on the rebounder for about a count of ten 
and when you come forward you tuck in your glute area as tight as you can and then you lean forward you're really going to feel a stretch in your hip flexors that just feels good that's going to tighten your glute area and um, it's going to tighten your core and it's a really really good hip flexor stretch that we all need exaggerated move to the back I'm really trying to stretch I'm doing it an exaggerating I'm coming back on my toe and then I'm reaching up with the same arm that I'm going back with with my leg mm, that's going to do some stretching and really work your muscles quadricep stretch so we're laying on our front arms on the floor I'm going to reach up and grab my ankle of my um, foot and I'm going to bring that as close to my glutes as I can and I'm going to hold that for 30 seconds you're really going to feel that in the front of your legs that's your quadricep muscle to really stretch that out I usually hold these stretches for about 30 seconds. Now I'm going to go on to the other side and I'm going to bring that foot as close to my glutes as I can or my behind, whatever you want to call it. And then just hold that for about 30 seconds. And when I'm done with that, we're going to move on to bringing that leg down and then reaching back get both of your ankles and then hold that. That's going to be a little bit more than 30 seconds. Okay, now we're done stretching the front of our thighs. Now we're going to stretch the hamstrings and the glutes, the back part of our legs. So I'm going to take my back foot, I'm going to have it on the heel, and I'm going to do almost like a split on the rebounder, and I'm going to bend over and I'm going to stretch that out. I'm stretching it out for about 25, 30 seconds approximately. And then I'm going to put my foot flat. See how I have it flat? And do it a little bit longer. Since I stretched out the front of my thighs, I'm going to stretch out the back. Now I'm going to come up and I'm going to switch my legs. So we're going to bring the front foot out. 
and I'm doing the split and that's on the, the leg that I have my hip replacement. So I have my um, toe up and then I'm going to put it down. That's one thing my surgeon told me I should never do again is the splits, but I can still do the splits and I feel safe doing it. He also said I can't do backflips. Oh, no big deal. I never did backflips, but that's just a feel good stretch. Feel good stretch. I hope you enjoy the energizing stretches. I am. I do them when I'm all done with my workouts and I love them.